What is up, guys? We are back with some more Pokemon Shield Nuzlocke, and unluckily for me, um, <laughs> this Rookity ran into me, and I have Sheetle out, so when I cut the video, I decided I was going to at least try to get these guys, uh, Sandy Cheeks and Sheetle up a good bit, so I was doing a lot of swapping in, swapping out um, for these Pokemon. So when I looked at the natures for my team, actually, I realized that Shido has a nature that lowers her special attack, and then Shandy Cheeks has a nature that increases her special attack, which I found was kind of useless. I think Sandy Cheeks is more so a physical attacker. If not, you're just a tank. But I just can't see myself... Uh, using Sandy Cheeks to use special attacks. Alrighty. Got our, our first random trainer. But, as you all know, this is going to be a breeze in the park. Get your JK ready. Oh, you got to squab it, bro. We're going to struggle, bug it. Oh, man, that did more than I wanted it to do. Uh, let's have Sandy Cheeks go up against the Squavit. <laughs> See how much that does. Oh, yeah, see, that does like nothing. I'm just going to use tackle just to get that stab effect. Because I'm pretty sure it wouldn't do as much as bite. I think I left off on the last video. Wow, you would get a crit. I think I left off on the last video talking about how I'd go more in depth about. Uh, the sword in, no, no, not sword, diamond and pearl theory, but I don't know, I feel like I kind of ran out of things to say, it was just a great game overall, um, I'm really just trying to anticipate this Nuzlocke, and hopefully <laughs> I do well with it, I wasn't really expecting to have a Squavit on my team, but I guess that's kind of expected. Um, I don't think I'll use a potion yet. Uh, I think, because there's just one. No, there's two trainers, actually. I almost tricked myself with that. I should have just moved further down to have my wild <laughs> random encounter. Uh, this probably would have got me a way better Pokemon. Um, oops. We're actually going to put Teardrop out. Let's go, Teardrops. And we're not even going to try to fight that Yamper because uh, I can't remember if Yamper knows Nuzzle yet. Or Nuz? Nuz or Nuzzle? It's one of the two electric moves. Well, that's the name for it at least. Okay, yeah, Pound. Maybe I should have did Bind and then Pound. Since I wasn't really utilizing Bind. I don't know, I've never really actually used Bind like that in my playthroughs for Pokemon. On any Pokemon that I get, but I guess it's kind of clutch to have that extra damage at the end of a turn. I'm really just ready for uh, Teardrops to learn Water Pulse. Or just in general to evolve. So one thing I want to know is if anybody else has done a, a Nuzlocke, either it's Sword or Shield Nuzlocke or just a previous Pokemon game Nuzlocke, uh, how did it go, which game was it, and did you complete it or not? I know some people also like to inflict the rule that if their team blacks out or whites out that the Nuzlocke ends for them, they have to start all over. 
Um, if that's the rule that you follow, by all means, more power to you. I don't know if I'm going to implement this in this. I might, but that just brings more pressure. But I'd kind of be down for that just to have that rule there. If my whole team blacks out, then the Nuzlocke ends right there. Um, I'll probably do like a tribute video at the end, RIP to the team. But hopefully I can find a well-balanced team here uh, to where... I won't have my, my team get, get creamed like that. I like to have type advantages a lot. So being that I can't really choose my team like that, I'm kind of limited on what I can really do. Are oh, you about to send out Nicket? I can't remember if Nicket had like, I think Nicket had just a bad like physical defense. Oh, you know, quick attack? Oh, good, you don't do that much. I think it's a physical, I think it's just regular defense and physical defense that's really low. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely physical defense that's just low. You better not quick attack crit me. Okay, good. <laughs> I was about to say. Yeah, you're just trash, bro. It's all good, though. Yeah, talk about research and all that stuff later on your own time. We're here to get our Pokédex, man. Oh, no, wait. We actually... I think we already have our Pokédex. <laughs> I'm tripping. We came here to try to get... Uh, the letter for uh, the gym challenge. Yep, we got that Poké. I remembered. <laughs> I never forget. <laughs> yeah, bro, endorse us. You're the ones that gave us Pokémon anyway. It's kind of like cruel and unusual punishment. It's like someone just gives you Pokémon. They're like, yeah, but you can't, you can't compete in nothing. You know, it's kind of on your own there find somebody else to endorse you for the gym challenge or or just a thought move to a different region <laughs> to where you won't need me to endorse you Ooh, stubbed my toe there but all right we're gonna get these items and stuff because of fresh water here yeah gonna need that fresh water i don't know what you are oh great ball um, one thing I can't remember though is if I'm allowed to fish, like, since there's a fishing, like my first fishing spot is over here, I don't know if I'm allowed to fish in there. But I kind of don't care being that my starters are water Pokemon. I think, I think if I chose Score Bunny, I would have most definitely been like, hey, let me not waste my wild encounter. I'll use it to try to get... Uh, a water Pokemon just just to start off with, with a little balance early on I'm coming bro I'm coming uh, he starts out with Wulu I'm gonna just put Sheetal out first just for that extra EXP um, getting Sheetal to level 10 is gonna be one of my main concerns just to add some more some more defense onto the team because I think once Sheetal evolves into Dotler we get um, light screen and reflect and both of those are going to come in clutch actually if I ever like start off a match I should put up that once I get like light clay or something I can I can have it so I think our reflect on light screen is doubled for the match and that'll definitely keep the keep the team alive a little bit longer. Uh, let's let's try to do some damage first. Struggle bug. Yeah, because just in case you wanted to use your special attack. <laughs> yeah, we'll actually utilize uh, Sandy Cheeks. I figure why not, being that you're on the team, you know. But if I end up. Um, 
getting a Pokemon where I feel like Sandy Cheeks is going to be useless for the team because most likely Sandy Cheeks will be being that it's a normal type. Um, I'll swap. I'll swap Robin to Quickness. Won't even have to ask me twice. She just gonna be gone like that. Funny enough, I wish there was more dual typing in the game. I wish Wooloo, when it evolved, became, I don't know, dark. Dark and something. <laughs> Definitely could have been like a dark ground type. <laughs> that could have been a thing. I'm trying to think, do we have dark ground types? Um, I don't know why I can't think of any. We probably do. I've probably just never used that Pokemon before. I'll have to look that up later <laughs> and let you guys know. Yeah, we're going to switch into teardrops. Teardrops about to make your tears drop, bro. Your score bunny's not ready. Mm. Oh, almost one hit KO. <laughs> That's why I need water pulse. I need water pulse to put in some work. I'm trying to think what can really mess us up, and I'm thinking, I think electric's like the only thing I don't have a super effective uh, ability for. Oh, I totally forgot you have Rookity. I thought that was like about to be the end of a fight. <laughs> and I was like, wait, you have one more Pokemon? Oh yeah, Rookity. Yeah, don't worry, I don't have any berries on me. So we're just gonna spit on you a little bit. I don't know why that water water gun seemed uh, a little violent there. Hmm. Maybe I could have put in Sandy Cheeks to get more EXP on that. <laughs> something yeah you perfected your throw bro but there's more to Pokemon battling than just your throw yeah give me that bro after seeing me beat down his little brother he's like yeah you definitely deserve this one Them, them wishing, wishing pieces. Yeah, I think they're called wishing pieces. Oh, wishing stars. Never mind. I think the wishing pieces are what you throw in the dens. <laughs> That's another thing that makes this game more interesting too. Is with Gigantamaxing your Pokemon for these Dynamax battles. It's, it's just the fact that that's what's going to give you a run for your money when it comes to these gym challenges. For these gym challenges, but also um, for the Pokemon League, when we actually have to do like the little Elite Four challenge thing and face Leon. Raihan is actually who I'm really worried about because of his double battle. But I think I'm getting way too ahead of myself because um, I do not plan on getting there too soon like that I feel like slow and steady wins the race I'm not gonna make my team like significantly over leveled uh, for these gym challenges but I'm not gonna make it to where I'm under leveled that's a disservice to myself and I am not one for it yeah 
Check it out with the bands, Graham. Boom, boom. Wong Wang. Uh, they healed up this team and all that stuff. Yeah, we're gonna gonna keep you out front. Oh uh, yeah, totally forgot he's gonna tell us how to like whistle at Pokemon, which I really don't need to do. I'm actually wondering if uh, my random encounter. When we get to Route 3, it's going to be any good. Uh, if I can get a Fire Pokemon on the team, that'll be clutch. Because then I'll kind of have... Um, oops. I'll kind of have the types that I kind of need. I would say I'll get a Grass, but Flipbug kind of can cover us at least uh, when I go up against certain point like if I go up against like a water type or something I'll probably throw out Sheetle out there so Sheetle well once Sheetle becomes Dotler for sure I'm just gonna eat up everything uh, man I kind of wish I had like a bike right now <laughs> would have been way easier to run back on a bike all right bro I'm on my way Yeah, I, I, I didn't catch a single thing, bro. <laughs> I know, you're, you're highly disappointed in me. Oh, uh, maybe now this is a reason to have special attack on Sandy Cheeks. I can teach her uh, Swift. That's actually what I'll do right now. I'll teach Swift. Oops, not Payback. Swift. And you can't even learn it. Wow. How are you a normal type? You can't learn a normal move. But I guess it works out. Um, I could put this on. I could put this on teardrops. <laughs> yep. Never misses. So that'll be clutch. That's going to be really strong. I don't know which Pokemon I would use it on to, to try and catch maybe. Yeah, camping away. Appreciate it, Mom. Yep, time to go. Take us to the next area so we can add to our team. So I'm actually about to bring up the, the map of the area so I can show you guys kind of how the, the map is abided. So that way we can kind of show you well I can not we I can show you guys how it's gonna go about the wild area with catching Pokemon being that there are the the separate areas so you guys see right there like those dotted lines and stuff show you like a different section um, can I bring up the, the map okay yeah so we're gonna start off uh, here and the we're gonna be in the rolling fields, I guess. So all this is one area, and that'll count as like my one encounter. If I move over here to Dappled Grove and I run into something that I can catch, I'll get it. Like it, being at the wild area, like fluctuates with the level. I feel like it's not fair to be going in and going up against Pokemon that you know damn well you won't be able to catch. But let me let me put teardrops out front just because. I don't think anything really is at level 8 out here. One thing I'm trying to understand is like the weather system for here when you're connected online and when you're not connected online. I think when I previously played um, offline um, before when I came through here, it was like snowing or something. Not like on my previous recording, but 
just when I did a separate playthrough just to um, just to kind of check out Shield. So I'm kind of wondering what Pokemon I can get now because last time it was snowing out here. And it doesn't look like it's about to be snowing at all. <laughs> so hopefully I can I can find something. Oh yeah, we got the Pokemon box link. So for the Pokemon box link, we can now access like the Pokemon boxes and swap out Pokemon whenever we need. So this is even more efficient when a Pokemon faints or such. One thing I'm not gonna do really is, well, I say that now, but the the raids, I'm probably gonna do those, but only for like the rare candy and the Dynamax candy, because I'll definitely need those. Let me pick up these items. We're not going to fight that Onyx. I don't even remember if I got the... I don't even remember if I got the note or not. So, there's Pokemon there. <laughs> um, I think, is it all really just combies? Well, we're going to get our wild encounter. And it's... Oh, it's a Bunnelby. <laughs> you better not be a girl either. Ah, oh my god, I keep getting girls. <laughs> okay, uh, Bunnelby, we're going to hit you with a swift. I don't even know what... It, oh, man, I got... I got hella ugly Pokemon. So we're going to hit you with a swift. Throw this Pokeball. Oh, man, this was my capture for the rolling fields. This is... <laughs> this is tragic. Oh, but Sheetal hit level 9. One more level, Sheetal's going to evolve. So we got Bunnelby, who will be Diggersby. Turns into like a ground type. Um, What was it? There was Bug Bunny. What's her name? Lola? We're going to call her Lola. I don't know. I might be wrong on that for Bug Bunny and Lola. Um, okay, that was... That was very uneventful. So, to kind of make up for that, I think I already want to... I think I already want to go to, like, the next area to capture a Pokemon. <laughs> uh, I think I think over here will be in our level range. Oh, what's this? Big Mushroom. Cuckoo. Aw, oh, Diglets. Oh, I didn't mean to run into you. What level are you? <laughs> Better not be some BS level. Okay, level 9. You're gonna outspeed me, right? Because Diglets are fast as heck. They're fast and nimble. Real nimble. I say nimble and then I can't even take it out with like one hit. That actually did more than I expected it to do. What you been eating, Dick? And what is up with me running into just like female Pokemon? That Diglett was also a female. <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed that. Ooh, we finally get Water Pulse. Which your boy has been looking forward to. Cheeks going up to nine. Oh my god, Diglett, get out my way. <laughs> I just want to make it to the other area so I can capture a Pokemon, maybe even complete, like have a full six Pokemon caught. That's just me. Yeah, because we're in rolling fields, and then once I'm out of rolling fields, uh, the map shows... The map shows Dappled Grove. So we're heading over to Dappled Grove and seeing what what's being offered there. Hopefully something in my range to catch. Yep, Dappled Grove. Where was the exclamation mark at? I don't know where it was at. Oh. Oh, I, I got a Badoo. Oh, wow. Okay, 
wow, and you're level 12. <laughs> I don't really know how I feel about that. So I'm hoping Absorb doesn't do... Ooh, that did like nothing. <laughs> Okay. I gotta use Swift again. And Badoo's also a girl. I'm gonna use Swift maybe one more time. Hopefully <laughs> it doesn't use like Absorb and just take out Teardrops. I'm gonna be highly disappointed. Oh, you're gonna use Stun for? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, paralyze me, girl. Ah yes, sweet. <laughs> All right, cool. Now we now we have a grass Pokemon on the team. Yes, we're gonna we're gonna name you. Uh, I don't know, cause Rosa Roserade is a beast. I actually did love Roserade. Um, I don't know why, I just want to call you Zelda. <laughs> For those that don't know, Zelda, yes, is the princess. Princess Zelda. Okay, cool. Uh, let's get that paralysis off uh, my girl Teardrops. And... Now we can also, we can also look towards the next, um, the next area to catch something. The reason I'm, I'm just catching stuff like real early. Ah, come on. I, I did not mean to run into you. <laughs> reason I'm trying to catch the stuff early is just so I can get the EXP on them early as well. Some people might be like, oh, bro, like you're, you're over, overcrowding your team already. You're filling up too fast. But I feel like it's it's only right I fill up fast. You got you guys will appreciate it too. Hopefully Pancham doesn't use Circle Throw. I don't know if it knows it at level ten. But hopefully you don't. Oh, you know Arm Thrust. Do not get a crit. Oh man, you just try taking teardrops out. Mm, so close to having Sheeta level up. We gotta, we gotta stay safe out here. It's dangerous out here in these streets, man. Almost took my girl out. But, um, man, I was about to go to like the next area and catch something, but I feel like. Okay, yeah, we don't we don't care. We don't care. Uh, yada yada yada, we don't care. I'm thinking I'm gonna just save that. Oh wow, we're already at West Lake. Wow, I just said I was gonna save it, but I feel like now I'm kinda obligated to to go run into something. So that's what I'll do. <laughs> I'll run into something right somewhere over here. I don't know where the exclamation mark's at. Ah, Wooper. I probably should have went across the bridge. It probably wouldn't be raining over there, right? <laughs> uh, and you're level 7. And you're also a girl. What is... What is going on here? I don't know. This is kind of weird, guys. Have, have you guys ever had that where it's just like, it seems like every Pokemon you end up having to catch is just that one specific gender? I don't know how how rare that is, but it just seems like I'm I'm just running into female Pokemon after female Pokemon. I, have, I literally have a whole team of girls now. Oh man, what 
what's a what's a nickname whooper Ah, oh, sweet. Sheetle's evolving. This is a great way to end off a video. <laughs> and I think I forgot to nickname. <laughs> I think I just, like, accidentally pressed B on that nick. Oh, okay, no, I didn't. Wait, no, I, I did. <laughs> okay, give us reflect and light screen and... Yep, and confusion. There we go. <laughs> That's what I was looking forward to. Okay, good. I thought I thought I missed out on nicknaming, but Whooper, uh, oh man, I'm so unoriginal with these names. Nah, we we can we can call you something else. Uh, let's 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 call you Coco. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think I'm, I'm thinking about the the fact that that you're gonna be water ground. So I'm thinking about chocolate. But guys, now I'm gonna end off this episode. Next episode, I'm gonna actually I think add the final member to to our roster. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you have any suggestions for nicknames, please do put them below. I don't care like what. Um, what nickname it is as long as it's not like too offensive you know uh but if you suggest some names or something um i'll most likely end up nicknaming it after uh nicknaming the pokemon after those names you guys choose but with that said guys thanks for watching stay sharp make sure you like the video it helps out the video a lot and also subscribe to my channel it helps out the channel a lot with that said stay sharp later